Hello guys, nice blue skies and if you look closely, you see the plants are budding already and that can only mean one thing, springtime seems to be here, the same thing here. have leaves on the trees all right <clears throat> let's head over to the rocks or so so far um, it's been pretty good but I've been having issues with the alignment up front and uh, I'll try to take a look at that today not very sure if I have it, it apparently it looks like I have too much of a toe in and uh, <clears throat> so what I will do is when I get it to the shop, I'll get this aligned, have that aligned, and then uh, take off the, the bar that connects both uh, arms and then get everything straightened up. Then I get the bar back on and go from there. So even though it's so beautiful today it's still uh, with this wind it's quite <laughs> it's quite cool so let's get in and see if we can start this rocks up we had some rain last night as you can see I have the hard carbs uh, liner protecting the the bed of the rocks <clears throat> over here someone asked me the question I mounted uh, how I have this mounted and this is the hardware that I have on there and uh, when you buy this it's called a uh, high lift <laughs> yeah that's what it's called so when you buy that it comes with two sets of these of these uh, U bolts and uh, the way you do it is depending on the size of your where you're gonna fix it you can use either the short ones like that or the long ones like this so as you can see I actually have it <laughs> a mixture of both <clears throat> so that's how you mount the high lift but for the rock saw you see there is that point that touches the frame so something to bear in mind uh, when I had it mounted lower, you know, it can go, come all the way down here, it wasn't touching anything. But I was worried about snagging people, you know, let's say someone is walking back here, it could get caught up on, on, your, on your dress. And even now, I have it sticking quite high, so it goes above the rock or It goes above the roof line, as you can see. So, just things to get bear in mind. But that's what it looks like and you simply take it off by turning this and then you lift up uh, the high lift jack all right let's jump in all right okay get the key Just give it a few moments for it to warm up. The glue plugs. You can actually hear the pump running if you listen carefully. All right, clutch. And then start almost right up. I don't hit the bike. Normally I should have let it warm up for a little bit. <laughs> it's not good practice to just start up the cold engine and start moving.
think that should be good enough all right then i'll catch you guys uh once i'm done with the alignment i'll take it out for a quick spin so yeah everything seems good so far engine has been very good to me haven't had any issues um not worried very much about warranty because i don't play too hard with the rocks or i drive it everywhere but um i don't like <laughs> abuse the rocks <laughs> let's put it that way so uh main modifications that i've done is i put a wi-fi uh a wi-fi tune I, I powertronic which i imported from india i uh, it has a bluetooth uh, or the fob that i use to to change uh, the tune and then also i did the bmf rocks lift which gave me 5.5 inches and then uh, of course i did the hard caps cab and uh, pretty much everything else is still stuck and i haven't had anything break down and it just keeps going so um i've ordered oh yeah there was one thing that broke though i had this packed in water then it got frozen so there was ice between the caliper and uh and the disc so when i stepped on the brake i think that broke the brake um caliper so i needed to get a new caliper which i did through my uh dealer valili sports and marine in minot north dakota I didn't have any issue with that. Um, I didn't want to warranty the part because it, it didn't cost much. Uh, most of the issues I've seen with people is that uh, something breaks and then they put it in under warranty. So I don't know how warranty works, but in, to me, in my mind, it tells me that <laughs> the guys pretty much uh, take your rock saw, push it to the back of the shop and people who are paying cash upfront get priority. So if the part is not too expensive let's say uh, an engine or a transmission if it's stuff like the battery then yeah for me it just makes more sense to go to the shop uh, i mean to the um, hardware store or even the big box stores like walmart and just get myself a, a battery and <laughs> not have to deal with the headache of uh not having your rocks all with you for weeks and weeks Okay, let's open up let me show you guys what i am talking about so um the powertronic is right there it doesn't seem to be holding uh, the box is having some rust issues and uh, i do apologize for the rat nest kind of arrangement for my wiring i'm still not done yet as you guys can probably tell so yeah um apart from that i haven't really had any issue so pretty reliable rig it starts on most most days when it's warm but if it gets really cold uh, the battery just doesn't have the cranking amps so on very cold days it has starting issues it wouldn't crank but as soon as it warms up the same battery it starts right up um i've seen a little bit of i see a little bit of diesel usually when i start the vehicle then i cry uh I, I rev up the engine really fast quickly i notice that there's usually a little bit of diesel somewhere down here but today as you see i started the the uh, the, the rock saw let it you know just pull me through without having to step on the gas and i haven't had any issue so yeah that's that's it about uh, the rocks or and of course uh, with the cab and the heater inside it makes this so much more usable even though it looks beautiful today uh, with the wind that's blowing right now it feels actually quite ki kind of chilly so yeah you really uh, increase the usability when you get some kind of cab uh, at the very least uh, i would hope that the new rock saws, the newer ones should come with uh, at the very least at the very least a, a windshield because that once you start going above five ten miles an hour even if it's on a pretty nice day 
just the wind getting into your eyes insects it becomes a problem so if uh the rock saw is coming out with a newer one like they say they, they would later this year i i'm hoping that they will do uh, something about having a windshield come with the base rock saw all right uh that's what i had to share with you guys and uh i'll let you know at the end how my alignment <laughs> went you can already see the tire looks like it's uh towing in yeah so catch you guys bye for now